Hi, so today we're going to be going over simple file sharing in Open Media Vault, and also we're going to be going over some of the problems I had, which seem to be the most common problems people had, and simple solutions to those, so you can share files over your own home network. So the first thing we have to do is, of course, log into Open Media Vault. And next we're going to go to Shared Folders. I already created one shared folder here, but we're going to add another, so we'll add that one in. So select the name for your folder. So the name we're going to put is Documents. And so I already created a RAID array, so we're going to have that there. Path is documents. Permissions. So to make this as simple as possible to start out with, and also easier for troubleshooting, we're going to make this so it will work no matter what. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and below that one, we're going to say everyone read and write. In the future, after we actually get things working, we can change that so that only you know, the administrator or uh, users or, uh, you know, can read and write or just read or whatever. But right now we're just going to make everyone read and write. Uh, this will just save us a few problems in the future. So in Open Media Vault, uh, it will ask you to reconfirm things twice all the time. So we're going to apply that change. And yes, we want to apply those changes. Okay. Next what we'll do is add a user. So we're going to click on users. And so add a user. And so this user will just be called user1. And we're going to give them a password. We're going to save that user. And again, we have to wait for the apply and yes. Good. So now we're going to go in and add privileges to that user. And so we're going to give read and write to that user and save. Good. And good. So now we're going to add that user to the group if it's not hasn't already. And so it's already part of the users group. So we're just going to cancel that. Uh, next, we're going to set up file sharing. Okay. And so we're going to go over to SMB or Samba SIS file sharing. We're going to click enable, and then click save. And we have to wait for a second, click apply, and yes. Sometimes when you do that here, it'll produce an error. Uh, so there's two possible errors. One is uh, it will just say something if you click that and try to do something before that yellow, the yellow apply tab comes up, it will give you an error. Just click OK, and then you can press, press the yellow apply and then so forth. Uh, sometimes what you'll get is it will say a null entry error. And what that means is you actually have to clear your browser cache. So if you clear your browser cache, then that error will go away. Uh, I've had that happen a couple times. Uh, I don't know why it happens. Uh, it seems to be something related to the browser and how this works. I guess it's a added feature, so to speak. Okay, so now that Samba is enabled, we're going to click Add. We're going to share a folder, and so we're going to call that Documents. And we're going to just call it Documents. And so here it says Public, and we want to click Yes there, Guess Allowed. And everything else should be okay, so we'll save that. 
click apply and yes and we're going to add our other folder so that was our media folder we're going to call that media and uh, remember to click click on guests allowed and then save That time it takes a second. Sometimes it takes a little longer for that yellow apply to show. But once you do, click, uh, once it does, click apply and then yes. Okay, so now when we click down here on our file explorer, our open media vault should show up in the network tab. So let's take a look at that. There are my two folders. Let's open them up, see if we can do anything. Let's create a new folder. Call that, uh, no, not office. Uh, let's call it taxes since it's tax season. Click OK. So that folder is good. And media, let's make a folder there. We'll call that movies. Good. And so now you see we've created simple uh, shared folders that we can access on our home network. And so next, why don't we talk about some of the ways that uh, things can go wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'll close this and then we'll start from there. Okay, so I just changed one of my settings in here on the documents folder and I'll just see what happens when you miss it. So we go in here now, we go back to open VA Vault, we go in here, movies, movies still works, we can do things to it. If we go back to the documents folder, now we click on it and it says Windows cannot access open VA Vault 1 documents. So what is going on? So let's take a look. So if we close this, close that, go back to documents. Oh, and we go to shared folders, documents. And so when you click on privileges, you can't change them once you have set up the initial folder that way. So you have to go to ACL. And where it says others down here, you see it's only read and write. So you have to change that to read, write, and execute. And so what happened there is when instead of putting everyone uh, read, write, and execute when we first made this folder, we, we skipped that part. Uh, so for this to work, for a simple home file share, you have to have read, write, and execute. Click apply to that. And then close. We go back to our folders here, open media vault, go back to documents, try to make a new folder, and we can. Okay, so there's the first problem that people have, and then I'll show you the next one. Okay, so the next problem people run into is it says that they need to sign in with credentials when they've made it so that Theoretically, like the one before, the problem we just let before that everyone has read, write, uh, access. So what's going on there? So I, if you, we go now to the media folder. Oops. Open media vault. Go to the media folder. Ask for network credentials. Now the thing is, if I actually put them in, it will not let me sign in. And so we do that. And here it says it is not accessible. Okay, so how you change that is you click OK here. We can X that out. That's actually under Samba SIFs. So we go there, go to Shares and Media and Edit. And so remember we talked about public had to be set to guests only. So if you set that to guests or guests allowed, excuse me. Now when we save that, we go back to our open media vaults. Oop, and of course we have to save the changes first. So apply there. Yes. 
And then now when we go to the media file, we can click on that. It'll open. We try to create a new folder. It creates a new folder. And we can also delete. So that's how you uh, fix. Those are the two most common problems. And the next problem people have is when they click here on save, it will say something about having a null error. So all that means is that you have to clear your browser history. So you would go down here and to more tools and clear browser data. Uh, once you do that, you can go back to your save and your save will work fine out on that. So that's the three most common problems with Open Media Vault shared folders. So I hope you found this all uh, helpful. And if you did, like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.